Hello everyone, this is Joko10. Welcome back to Let's Play Lego Harry Potter Years 1 through 4. Behind this door is the final challenge. We saw this earlier, so let's go in and see what awaits us. Oh my. Spoilers. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure the game already spoiled the that for us. Oh dear. Uh, don't think that's working, Ron. No, that did not. That did not work. And just like that, we are in the last level of the game, folks. Let's go ahead and zap this guy here. Don't go near Fluffy because he will attack you and do things to you. Just give him the duck. And apparently that distracts Fluffy. Don't ask me how that works. And now we can build the harp. And just like that, Fluffy is asleep. And conveniently moves out of the road so we can get down the trap door. And now we're in the devil snare room. This is one of the main reasons why they had us uh, learn Lumo Salam. So that, so that we could use it on the devil snare. So start using it on the, on the devil snare. And as soon as you free Ron, that's pretty much all you need to do in order to enter the path. So I like to clear this room of all the all the vines, just so I can, just so you know, you know can go down here. And there's a bit more um, double snare here. Okay. Alright, and now it's the key room, but it's not as difficult as it was in the movie, as you'll soon discover. It's actually not too difficult. Okay, first of all, we want definitely want to be hairy. We're going to fly our broomstick. So as long as you know how to fly a broomstick, you, sh you should be fine. You, you've had plenty of chance to, to practice this stuff. So. And if you fall down, the broom will reset down here, or at least it should. Yeah, sometimes it takes a few seconds to first reset. And we want to be up here, because there is a student apparel here. If you go back in here, there's also a purple stud. Okay. So you want to hop on your broomstick, and then you can blind fire. Um, and hit the that group of keys. That big gold one is the one we want. Kind of convenient that we made it, that one. Even though it's supposed to be silver, we made it. We got stuck there. There we go. Alright, and then, yeah, once you get on the floor, then you can use, just use your, use your magic to get the, to get the open door. Alright, now for the chest one. This one's not too hard either. Um, this one is actually pretty easy, easy to figure out. And these guys, and they won't, they, they, the door won't open until you actually do something about it. So you want to hit this guy here that's moving. 
So playing as black. And then he's gonna pick us. And right now, I believe we wanna move this guy, yep. That guy is gonna take us. Uh, now we want to move this guy here. All right. Now we want to drive this rook here. Get in the, in the their queen's gonna pick us. Obviously, White's not. Uh, obviously, White's making some pretty big mistakes here. They could have done something a lot better. And then this is this is this will throw you chess fans off quite a bit. Uh, bring a piece back to life. Yeah. <laughs> the logic this game has. Ooh, the game's lagging. Following the move. Okay. Not sure why he's doing this. Come on. I hit, I hit you. There we go. Not sure why I was doing that. It might have been a problem. Yep, and the king, just like that, is done. And Ron didn't even have to sacrifice himself. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what happened. That's totally what happened. Yeah, Professor Quirrell. Yeah. Oh my, stone. Oh no! Wait a minute. Man with two uh, with two faces, two faces in this game. This isn't Lego Batman. This is Lego Harry Potter. Oh well. Either way, we're fighting. Per we're fighting Professor Quirrell Voldemort here, and he's gonna he's gonna kind of shoot random spark things at us. Just dodge him. That's all you can really do here. And then when he throws this green thing at him, use your wing guardian love you also to throw it back at him like he did with the troll earlier. Come over here and get these studs. Oh, and you're supposed to stand right next to him. And and then and then you you don't even have to shoot him, you just have to stand next to him and Harry will will grab him. Just like he does in the movie. So when you get over here, go and stand next to him and Harry will grab him. Because just touching him hurts him, as we've seen in the first Harry Potter movie. Alright, now there's two little fire things. Not too terribly difficult. This is actually a pretty easy final boss for the first gear. But you just have to be kind of be patient uh, and jump over the two gaps. Come over here and touch him like you did before. He's gonna send that. Now back up a little bit because this floor is gonna break up a little bit more. Yeah, and so the gaps get a little bit wider. And now there's just two little platforms 
there in the middle. But luckily we can still get over there. The game isn't entirely evil to you. It gives you it in so you know, it gives you those two platforms there in the middle. It's not it's not that hard. I think he throws more things at you as you go on and he throws that last one to try to to try to get you. And just like that we we defeated him. Yay! He's got the stone. Uh oh. Oh, but Voldemort can't grab it. <laughs> nice try, Voldemort. But Dumbledore is actually who kind of helped Harry and he kind of helped. Harry get out of there and stuff. And we save the student in peril too. Yay! So we get a couple of gold bricks for doing that. And now we get to finish off the year one story. So let's save that. <laughs> uh, techni technically, Harry didn't have the stone there. Dumbledore had already taken it from him. Uh, tokens from his admirers. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, classic. And that's the credits. We can skip those. Mm. And that's Travel's Tales trailer. We can skip that as well. Yeah, the credits trigger after you complete each uh, year. Sermon. So now we are in the Leaky Cauldron. This is the main um, access area of the game. This is where uh, this isn't a level. This is part. This is sort of part of the hub, but it's kind of separate from the hub. We can actually go here and start year two, but we don't want to do that just yet. And over here, this is where we can go back and replay any level that we previously unlocked. So we have the six levels here from year one. And it shows you all the stats of that. We're not going to do that just yet. Um, here in the Leaky Cauldron, there isn't really a whole lot you can do. There's some studs you can get. If you go upstairs here, um, you can go over here, and in here, this is the cutscene room, as I call it. This is where you can watch any cutscene. That you have unlocked, that you have seen before. So you can see the opening logo, any of the, any of the levels. Some of these we haven't watched yet, or some of these we haven't seen. So basically, all of these, um, we've seen all of these, or the ones we have seen, we can have, we can watch again. And it's basically just kind of a bonus room. You don't have to do anything with this. But if you want to watch any cutscenes that you have already seen, you can watch them again uh, there. So that's pretty much that room. Uh, we can't do anything about that because that's uh, silver. And here we are in Diagon Alley. This is where you can go and buy stuff, as I've mentioned before. On the green light there, that's not supposed to be there. That's actually kind of a, kind of a glitch there. Um, and then this is the entrance to Nocturne Alley. We can't get in there just yet. Um, so there's there's a few shops here. There's, uh, there's a Mountain Milkins Robes. There's Alex All and Forium. And then there's this um, Wizard of Crees Wizarding Emporium. We'll be visiting those two in a little bit. 
this is just for money. And we'll be Uh, so you can come, you can come to Diagon Alley pretty much any time after you've been the first story level, and you can access all stuff. We'll be going to Green Gots in a little bit too. But first, let's check out our shop here that we've got. First is the Mountain Mountain. Here is where you can buy uh, characters. So there's a few characters that we can unlock here as well. Uh, there's Hermione in the ball ground from year four. A little early to be getting that character, but um, the Yule Ball is actually not in this game. Spoiler. And there is, a, I believe, there's something behind one of the screens. We get this other one here. <laughs> and that is Harry and Tuxedo from year four as well. And that's going to say that we'll be buying characters in just a minute, but in this in this room here, this is where you can do the character customizer. So basically, these are you can make custom characters, and the more characters you unlock, the more uh, custom characters you can actually have access to. So you can uh, have fun. You can kind of have fun customizing your character. I'm not going to do that. It's not required or anything. Um, it's kind of just for fun, just kind of extra thing. But let's see, uh, actually, let's wait to buy characters. But you can scroll, scroll through and find characters. I'll show it in a little bit, but there's actually some other stuff I want to buy first. So here at Isle of Sol Emporium, they have gold bricks for sale. So we'll look at those in a minute. But they also have a broom here. And we and remember we saw this in the first level. Well, guess what? We have to do the same thing that we did in here, except we just have to do it here in Isle of. So we have to sweep this floor here. We have to sweep off these uh, these white spots off the floor. And it's kind of tricky to do it. But once you see you see it cleared, uh, you'll know that you you've done it, and you'll you'll get a decent or er, pretty nice reward for cleaning up all this mess here. And there you go. A gold brick just like that. Yay. And that's not all the gold bricks we can get. There's also one here that is for free. So we definitely want to buy that one. And then gold brick two is a hundred thousand and then it goes up by a hundred thousand all the way up to one million one hundred thousand for gold brick twelve. And so we're not gonna buy any gold bricks right now. We don't really need to. Um because we don't really um there's not a whole lot that you can unlock with gold bricks. There's a few things that you can unlock here early on, but it's fine. We we won't it's fine this you'll find that you won't be able to do a whole lot. So these are all the red bricks, and as you can see, these are the four here that you start with in default. These ones you get right away. You don't have to unlock them or anything. It still has Ice Rink, Disguise, and Carrot Rowan. Then we also have the two that we found in the hub, Collect Ghost Studs and Fast Dig, and there's plenty more here to find, as you can see. So let's go ahead and buy some of these. We want to Collect Ghost Studs, and I guess I'll buy a Fast Dig. And I'll buy these four standard ones. These four here, the default ones, those are just kind of gimmicky red bricks. They don't really serve any purposes. Purpose, they're just kind of just for fun. I might show this off at some other point, but they're not required. Or to, uh, to or you don't have to use them. They're pretty much just for fun. Um, and then here in the Wizarding Emporium, these are uh, special spells. They don't. They're just kind of. They're just kind of uh, silly spells. And basically, they all do different things here. Um, and I'll explain all these at a later time. But basically, the most useful one is Asio, which costs four million. So we don't. We can't even purchase that. There's some of these that we can get, but they're not going to serve really that much purposes. Purpose. 
Uh, some of the, most of them are just kind of funny, uh, silly spells. So, and then up here, if you have a cheat code, you can enter it here and you can unlock stuff that way. But we're not going to do that because I'm going to play this legitimately. We're going to just unlock everything the normal way. We're not going to use any cheat codes. Um, because we can, uh, because I can unlock everything this game has to offer the normal way. I don't have to use cheat codes. And there isn't any bonus material in this game that you, that you unlock only by, by cheat codes. So when you have so many gold bricks, I forget how many you need to actually open this door. It's, it's only like, it's only, it's like about five. A little less than five. You can come down here to green. You can go into green dots, and you can um, start unlocking vaults. So each of these vaults is going to hold a bonus level, and these bonus levels are uh, are have varying challenges, um, and they, and they have and they have you uh, you play or you know use stuff that you haven't even unlocked yet some of them do like some of these earlier early ones don't but the later ones will and we're actually going to need to go back and buy some characters if we're going to well we don't for the first few but we will later on so basically how it goes is every five gold bricks you get you unlock one so like the first one here is five uh, the first one here is five then it goes it goes ten for the second fifteen twenty this one here is twenty five and this one here is thirty and since we just got thirty we can uh, we can activate this one. This one here is 35 as you can see we don't have enough yet. And 40, 45, and then 50. So there's 10 uh, bonus levels. And these are uh, what most people would call these is the Lego Builder bonus levels. Basically these are kind of, uh, they're sort of like custom bonus levels. But they are required because they do get you something for uh, beating each one. So I'm going to unlock them in just a little bit. But I want to quick go back here to Diagonal because I want to buy some characters here first. Because we've unlocked some characters already in story mode. And so um, I want to buy some of them. Because I do have some money to spend. So you're going to see a lot of question marks here. Um, we don't need the carry girl because we don't need that one. We don't need those. Basically, you want to look for care. Basically, right now, I just want to look for characters I need. And this takes a while. Uh, Kitty Bell, I don't really need. For too easily, he's not that special. He doesn't unlock anything. Uh, Gryffindor boy, girl, we don't need those guys. Uh, Padma Patil, I uh, think she's Gryffindor. Ravenclaw boy, we need him. I'll buy him for sure. Uh, I know Fang is here. Yep, there's Fang. Um, we don't need those guys, they're standard characters. Sorry this is taking a while. This, this is one thing I don't like about this game, is you gotta go through all the characters one at a time. I uh, go from the back here now and just buy characters until I run out of money. Because I don't have anything else really to spend my money on right now. So I'm just gonna buy characters now. Because We'll unlock more characters later, but we're going to get more money later on, too. So it's not going to really matter. So this is better for us to buy them now rather than wait till later to buy them. Oh, five minutes until they're actually Ravenclaw. Okay. Fair enough. We got the Ravenclaw boy anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Starting to run out of money, 
but that's okay. Because we'll get plenty of money in this game, don't worry about that. Especially later on. Not sure. Uh, we don't have enough for that character. We don't have enough for him. Uh, we don't, we actually don't have enough for that. I think that's all we can buy yet. So we'll save that. Alright, and I'm gonna show off uh, a few of these bonus levels. I'm gonna try to play the ones that don't really, that don't spoil anything for us. Um, there. One thing that's kind of bad about these, though, is that you do get access to all of the spells in the game. But I'm gonna try to. I can play this first bonus level for sure without. So in each of these vaults is a port key. That's what that brick is. That's what that brick represents. It's a port key. I might as well open all these doors now, even though we won't be doing all these. So each of these gets the number. As soon as you open it. do to, to get into the levels, you have to go in and pick up the port key, and play bonus level, and then we'll load the bonus level. And these levels vary in shortness. So for this one here, this one requires 100,000 studs to uh, complete the bonus level. So basically all you have to do is go around here. As you can see, uh, on the spell wheel there on top, that shows the uh, extra spells. So we even get access to all the extra spells. And then you can see our spell wheel is complete, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna spoil any of the spells. We don't need those extra spells right now. So um, we're not going to worry about that. I'm actually going to go get uh, the car. It's a lot easier to smash this stuff into the car. I'm actually going to go over here real quick too. I don't remember if this, if this uh, box is in the game. I don't know. Oh, come on. This, this ball, this ball is very finicky, and trust me, there we'll be we'll be dealing with finicky balls more in these bonus levels of these as we go on. As it turns out, so uh, yeah, I think the first few bonus levels just are kind of oh okay that actually accesses that stuff okay so, yeah we do actually we did actually need to do that. Okay, now we can go up here and get that, the purple studs are always nice. We only need 100,000, this isn't like your standard bonus level where you need to get the million studs, this is just, a, you know, this is a custom bonus level, and you know, this one here you just need to get 100,000, so not as bad as a million studs, but it still takes a little bit to complete this one. This is my favorite car in the game. This is the state car. This is one that Uncle Vernon was driving earlier in the game. So that's it's kind of fun to see. It. I'm not sure why that house was only half built there. And as you can see, there is actually where the actual hundred thousand studs come into play, and there's a gold brick. So yeah, each of these bonus levels, uh, 
when you beat them, you will get a gold brick for beating them. So these are required to play. Uh, why? Where? Where did Ron go to? Oh, there he is. He got stuck on the edge here. Not sure what the computer is doing. Oh well. Okay. Lift me up, Ron. Thank you. Yeah, it takes them a little bit to, to kind of reset this. I'm not sure why it takes so long, but it does. This is one of the few times where you actually have to do this. And Ron was on the phone, so that's why I was in this knee up. There we go. Alright. Yeah, so basically you can just kind of drive around here and this is pretty much just, uh, you know, just a typical get, as you know, get the stud goal. Both of them. As you can see, there's there's well over a hundred thousand studs. And so there's actually, if you get everything, there's over two hundred thousand. You can see that's the Weasley's car there. Um, it can't fly in this game. It sucks. Or say, oh, we got the hundred thousand studs. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about getting studs right now. We will be coming back to this level later because this is actually one of the best levels in the game to go and grind for studs actually. As it turns out. So let's go and get our gold brick here. Because it's 33. And that's level complete. Nice. So when you beat the bonus level, the goblin will pull out the gold brick. So he'll let he'll let you know that'll that'll let you know that you've beaten the bonus level. So now you can replay the bonus level, or you can select this become a builder. But we're not gonna worry about becoming a builder. That basically uh, shows how you can uh, build your own custom level based on the green gods bonus level. I'm going to play bonus level two now. Um, basically, any of the bonus levels will let you do the become a builder, and there's four other stages. I don't know if they're required, but I've always done them. Okay, does this one use anything that we haven't unlocked yet? No, it doesn't. So we're going to do this one. Okay, that's not the one we want. We want to go this one here. So basically, our goal for this one here. Oops, is to uh, get Ron across here. With these moving platforms. Once you do that, then you can access scabbers here in the spell wheel. Might as well get a few studs while we're at it. This one doesn't require you to get studs, but you can get studs. Okay, and once you do that, that's pretty much all you have to do, because then you you just have both characters stand on the buttons to get on top of it. But, um, there's a gold brick out there. Now, don't fall into this stuff here. This is actually, uh, quicksand is what it's supposed to be. And if you fall into it, you die instantly. As you can see, Ron just died because he fell into it. So do be careful when you're jumping across this stuff. So let's go ahead and stand on these pressure, pressure pads and the platform lowers and then you can grab the gold brick and that's another one added to our collection. I'm pretty much going to play all these that I can right now as, as long as it doesn't spoil anything that we haven't unlocked yet. We got a glimpse of a few spells but um, that's not important. And we'll, we'll worry about those later. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, now that's okay. This one actually does do does spoil some stuff here. 
It does. It has the strength potion, but it requires us to do something that we don't have access to yet, or that we haven't access yet. So I'm not going to uh, do that. So that's all the bonus levels that we're going to tackle right now. So we'll come back here later, viewers. So don't worry about that. I could play it now and show it off, but I'm not going to. I, I don't want to spoil stuff before we unlock it. Normally, if I was playing this by myself, I would, but just for the sake of it. And since we got, and we, you do get to keep all the money that you've access from those green dots levels. So you do get to that. So that's one reason why uh, those things are so good. And I'll go buy that character, and that character fall. There we go. That's pretty much all I want to do here in Diagon Alley for now. So yeah, so you can, like I said, you can come back here anytime, even when you're in the middle of story mode. You can just, uh, you know, pause the game and act, to access the menu, and uh, and instead of saying it's saying quick game, it'll say return to leaky colors. And anytime you pause the game, it'll show you your status of the game as well. So as you can see, we have 15.7%. And we've got some pretty good uh, stats right now, but it'll, but that's not important right now. It'll be important more so later. Yeah, so in the next episode of what uh, of Lego Harry Potter, we will go through this door and begin Year Two Story Mode. If you believe such things, so that is going to be it for this episode. So until next time, this is Joe Cool Ten signing out.